Hi, and welcome to this short briefing. We are going to speak about the deceleration means at touchdown and during landing. The proper use of the deceleration means and their ongoing monitoring are key to ensure a safe landing. In our overview, Thomas will present the deceleration means and the logic behind it and I will then cover the standard callouts during landing in both normal and abnormal operations. Before presenting the available deceleration means, their logic and how to ensure proper use of these means, let's have a look at the nominal landing and rollout. 200 minimum One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Retard. Retard. Spoilers. Reverse green. Diesel. Knots. Manual braking. As you can see, there are three deceleration means available on the aircraft. The ground spoilers that increase the aerodynamic drag and the load on the wheels. The thrust reversers that provide a deceleration force independent from the runway conditions. The brakes that can be automatic with different braking levels or manual at any time. All these deceleration means are complementary and have interactions to provide an efficient deceleration. Let's have a look at the logic and interaction between these three means. First, the spoilers need to be armed to be able to automatically fully extend when the thrust levers are set to idle or in reverse thrust range and both main landing gears touch down. Then, when the spoilers extend, the auto brake, if used, automatically activates at the selected level mode. Finally, the thrust reversers are deployed by the flight crew after main gear touch down. To ensure that deceleration means activate properly, Airbus provides the steps to follow in the standard operating procedures. During descent preparation, the pilot flying selects the appropriate braking mode. Use of the auto brake or BTV when available is preferable. Obviously, manual braking remains available at any time. The braking mode is reviewed and confirmed during the approach checklist. During the approach, after gear down, the pilot monitoring arms the ground spoilers. The ground spoilers are confirmed armed through the landing ECAM MEMO landing no blue. In addition, the ground spoilers are part of the ECAM landing MEMO displayed on the warning display. During the flare, the pilot flying sets the thrust levers to idle. If one or more thrust levers remain above idle detent, ground spoilers extension is inhibited. At touchdown, main landing gear, the pilot flying sets the reverser levers to the appropriate level, max or idle. So, strict application of the SOPs is mandatory to ensure in normal operations the correct behavior and interaction of all the deceleration means and so an efficient deceleration and safe landing. A good understanding of the interaction between the systems is definitely really useful during that critical phase of the flight. Thank you, Thomas, for your explanations. Let's now review the standard callouts. At touchdown, the pilot monitoring has to follow the standard callouts related to the deceleration means. First step is to ensure the spoilers extension with spoilers callout. If the spoilers are not extended, call no spoilers. 
Second callout is related to the reverses deployment with reverse green. If the reverse deployment is not as expected, call no reverse engine 1 or 2 or no reverse as appropriate. Then the third one, the cell is based on the physical flight crew feeling and confirmed by the speed trend on the PFD. If there is no positive deceleration detected, call no decel. Finally, the last callout is related to the auto brake monitoring. When the pilot flying disconnects the auto brake, manual braking is announced. In a case of unexpected auto brake disengagement, pilot monitoring announces auto brake off. An unexpected auto brake disengagement is detected when the blue light disappears on the auto brake panel without any manual braking call out from the pilot flying. Auto brake off. Finally, we would like to add that on some aircraft, FMA callouts permit to monitor auto brake or BTV mode. A350, A380, optional for A330, 340, or 320 family. Now, to better understand the importance of these callouts, we propose to observe the application in abnormal configuration through two examples. In the first example, we will land with a failure affecting the deceleration means that occurs earlier during the flight. As example, we chose an engine 1 failure and here is the status of our aircraft at top of descent. As we can see, the engine 1 is inoperative and as a consequence, the reverse 1. Let's now listen to the appropriate standard callouts by the pilot monitoring in this coming video. 200 minimum. Continue. 100. 50. 40. 30. 20. Retard. 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 Spoilers, reverse green, diesel, seventeen knots. Manual braking. As the spoilers and the reverse deployed as expected in regards to the current failure, the callouts are. Spoilers, reverse green, diesel. In the second example, the crew will land with a failure affecting the deceleration means that occurs at touchdown. In this example, the crew will land with an aircraft without any status, and the expected use of the deceleration means is the nominal one. Let's observe the landing and the callouts in this case. 200 minimum continue check 100 50 40 30 20 retard 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 spoilers no reverse engine 2 diesel 17 knots manual braking the spoilers extend but one reverse did not extend as expected the callouts were spoilers no reverse engine 2, decel. If reverser does not deploy as expected, one of the main deceleration means is lost. The fly crew should consider adapting the available deceleration means to stop 
the aircraft. As observed in the previous video, the strict application of the standard callout during landing by the pilot monitoring is essential to ensure a good situation awareness and reduce the reaction time from the pilot flying in case of abnormal situation. This ensures the highest degrees of safety during the decision phase. To conclude this briefing as instructors, it is important to highlight that it is the combination of both SOPs and standard callouts that ensures an efficient and appropriate deceleration of the aircraft in any situation. We, we hope you enjoyed this briefing, briefing and, and we will see you around for the next one. one.